Welcome to my lecture online. You know, when you take a look at a, a problem like this, you really can't tell if there's a valid solution or not. You just have to go through the process. Sometimes you try to outthink it and go x minus 1. Can that actually be equal to x squared plus 3, the square root thereof? You really can't tell. I have trouble looking at that and realizing if there's a valid solution or not. So let's go find out together and see if it does have a valid solution. And of course, the way you go and proceed is to square both sides to get rid of that radical. So we take the left side and we square it and we take the right side and we square it. So on the left side when we square this we get x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals on the right side we get x squared plus 3. Now notice we have an x squared on both sides so we could subtract an x squared from both sides so when we do that, we get minus 2x plus 1 equals 3. And move that across, we get minus 2x is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. And divide both sides by negative 2, we get uh, x equals negative 1. And so that's the only possible solution we end up with. But in order, before we can claim victory and say that is the solution, let's see if that indeed satisfies inequality. So we're going to check. And we're going to check by replacing every x in our original equation by the value negative 1. All right, on the left side we end up with negative 1 minus 1 equals the square root. And of course we put a question mark because we don't know. Negative 1 quantity squared plus 3. So on the left side we get negative 2 is that equal to question mark the square root of negative 1 squared. Well that's a positive 1, so 1 plus 3. So we have negative 2 equals question mark the square root of 4. And by definition, the square root of 4 is indeed equal to 2. So minus 2 question mark is that equal to 2. And you go, there's no way that those can be equal. So since it's not, not equal, this is not a valid solution. And so the only possible thing we can write is that there is no solution to this particular problem. There's no value for x that can make the left side equal to the right side, and that is how it's done.